value of common stock. Uh, they have 200,000 shares. And the current price is 55. And so that is um, 11 million. And then the market value of preferred stock is 50,000 shares times $47 is 2.35 million. Let's add them up. 9.7 plus 11 plus 2.35. And we get 23 million. 050123. All right, twenty-three million fifty thousand dollars. Let's divide nine point seven in the twenty-three oh five oh, and we get forty-two point oh eight percent. Let's divide eleven million into. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's divide. Uh, well, no, let's do that. Eleven million. Let me find it here. In the 23050 is 47.7%. And now let's divide 2.35 million uh, and in the 23050, and we have 10.2%. Okay? Tiny little bit of rounding, we've got 100%. All right. Now let's find the cost. And we're going to use CAPM and Gordon. For equity. Let's find the cost of our bonds first. K B thousand dollars is our future value. And the bonds are trading at 970. 970 plus minus is our present value and the payment is 0.07 times a thousand divided by two to thirty-five dollars is our payment seven percent is the coupon rate all right and now we have to find the n and the n is 20 is 10 years times two payments per year, 20 is our N. Compute, that's not a B. Compute IY, and we get 3.715%. We're gonna multiply that times two, and we get 7.43%, and we're going to multiply that times 1 minus the tax rate, and the tax rate is 35%, and we get 4.83%. 4 4.83. Now let's find the cost of preferred stock. It's so easy, and that is $5 divided by... 78, make sure that's right, let's see, no, where did that 78, that was a carryover, so it's $5, you have to fix that, it says the stock is trading at 47, last one on capital, 47, I hope you did that right, yeah, So let's make sure we did that right. Yeah. So forty-seven dollars. Whoops. So we've got okay. This is kind of cool. This is it. so we're gonna have to figure out what the dollar dividend is. The dividend yield at the time of issue was six percent, and the issue price was a hundred dollars. 
So the dividend fumble, I just dropped everything. So the dividend is equal to, let me set it for this, a hundred dollars times 0.06 is six dollars. That's the dividend. Okay? Divided by forty-seven dollars. Okay. Um, yeah, I made a mistake on that one. So let's get that right. All clear. Six divided by forty-seven is twelve point seven seven percent. So let's go ahead and stick that in here. 12.77. Okay. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Because I made a mistake on my answer sheet here. So let's make sure that that is right. My preferred stock. Issue price was 100. Dividend yield issue was 6%. So $6 into 47. That's right. It's 12.77%. All right. Let's find the cost of common stock using Gordon. Alright, so Gordon is D1 over PO plus G, and so DO times 1 plus G, and DO is $1.26, make sure we got that right, yeah, $1.26, and the growth rate of dividends is 9% times 1.09. So $1.26 times 1.09, let's see, is $1.37 and a third cents. Divided by the market price of $55 per market price, yeah, $55 plus 0.1, plus uh, 0.09, sorry, plus 0.09, and that is equal to 12.275, I'm sorry, 11.5%, 11.5%. Five percent. Now let's do K using the cap M, and we've got the treasury yield of three and a half percent, and we have the beta of one point three five, and we have the expected return of the market, which is ten percent minus the um, three and a half percent, yep, 0.035 risk free rate. So we're going to do this, this, and this, one, two, and three. And we come up with 12.275 percent. And so we're going to add that to 11.5 percent that we got using the Gordon, and divide that by 2, and we come up with 11.89%. And so we'll put that here, 11.89, and since I made a mistake, i got to get my calculator out, and we have, let's get the right calculator here. Clear it out, second future value, second CEC and CEC again, and we have uh, 42.08 times 4.83, and we have, wait a minute, percent and then we have 0.477 times 11.89, and we get.
get 5.67%. And then we have 0.1022 times 0.1277, and we have 1.31%. And add them up. That plus that plus that. So 2.03% plus 5.67% plus 1.31% is 9.01% is our um, whack, our cost of capital. All right, so I'm going to have to adjust my answer sheet there, but I'll get that done. We are, at last, we're finished. This was a long homework, homework number five, and we'll move to homework number six, which is the last homework um, for the class before we do another couple of practice problems for the final. All right, Dr. E is exhausted. I know you are too. Take a rest. Think about this. Pray about it. We'll be back for homework six. Peace out. Shalom.